Hello, my name is Chef Ski, James Warneski, and this is Cooking with Ski. Today I will be making an iconic retro beef and cabbage soup. That's right, the soup that was a favorite when the family would go to Shoney's on Friday and Saturday nights. So let's get started in making our beef and cabbage soup. We're going to start this soup with a pound of ground beef, one half head of cabbage, one onion, four to five cloves of garlic. We're going to prep the produce by chopping both the cabbage, onion, and mincing the garlic. Once we have the garlic produce prepped, we can move to the stove and start browning our ground beef. Now here's a pro tip. Season your meat at the beginning and then season your dish as you add in your layers of ingredients. Here we want to go ahead and drain off the grease from the meat so we can have a nice clean uh, broth as we continue uh, browning our meat. While you're rendering your beef, you want to go ahead and season it up at this time. Next into the pool is our produce of chopped onions, chopped cabbage, minced garlic, to begin sweating the cabbage and onions. We're going to sweat them for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now that the ground beef has been browned, seasoned, the cabbage onion mixture has been wilted. Let's add in the dry seasonings uh, to the meat. We're going to fold the beef and produce, and since we've added another layer, season again. Let's add the diced tomatoes, juice and old, fold them into your soup and allow the soup to continue to simmer for about another 5 to 10 minutes. At this time, you can add in the Worcestershire sauce, the marjoram, and if you don't have marjoram, you can use oregano. It's a good time as any to go ahead and add in your uh, beef stock, and you haven't already done so, you can go ahead and add in uh, your uh, powdered beef bouillon cubes, that will add a lot of depth and flavor to this broth. Now it's time to fold in the kidney beans, bring to a boil, and reduce to a simmer, and simmer for about 30 minutes before checking your soup. At this point, I thought it needed a little bit of extra, so I added some sugar in it, which is optional. Uh, so if you have diabetes, you may want to go ahead uh, and omit this step, but it really does add a lot of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. 
This is where you want to check how your broth tastes. After all, this is your soup, so adjust the seasoning to your taste. If you choose to make this soup, and I hope you do, let me know how you like it. It's great with crust bread from my kitchen to your table. Enjoy!